We are at Woodland Valley State Park in New York in the Catskills region. A really beautiful area. There's the Ashokan Reservoir about 18 miles away which produces 40% of the water to New York City. That's where it comes up here in the Catskills. It's beautiful that reservoir. We took a drive out there yesterday. Let me give you a, a quick snapshot of what the Ashokan Reservoir looks like. So this is the Gazelle G6 six-sided gazebo and we've purchased the walls that you can then put on their screens behind those walls and then back there is the Gazelle T4 hub tent. They call it a hub tent because the walls pop out like that and are hubs and both of these are really easy to set up. I've owned tents for over 40 years and this is probably one of the nicest tents I've had. Here's how uh, you set up the gazebo, it's just pulling out the sides, pushing up the roof, and setting up the tent. Similar, there's actually two steps to take down the tent. You pop the sides in, and you fold it in. Here, I'll show you a quick view of the T4. All of the doors, there's a door here. Windows all around. I've never had a tent with so many windows. window over on this side and then another door here. It's made of really durable material. Probably one of the thickest material of the tents I've had. These grommets, I didn't even need to stake it in. There was no wind this trip. The weather was really in our favor except for uh, some a little chilly couple nights, but that was fine. We had good gear for that, some good gadgets. You can see all of these windows as we go around here and come back to the front. The fly adds on after you pop out the base tent you just put on the the bars on that and pop it right up super easy so this is the inside of the gazelle t4 hub tent there's one door on that side a window there a window there i have never had a tent with as many windows a window there this sleeve where we put a light inside there another door over on this side, more windows. And what we have fit in here are two twin size beds, small twin size bed, blow up mattresses. These are sound asleep mattresses. And they fit in here rather nicely. The Gazelle T4 tent, popped it right up like that. Pulled out the sides and it was a breeze to set up. This is one of my favorite gadgets at the campsite here. A portable dual fuel stove that can run on both butane and propane. Definitely makes it easier to cook things. It has a really wide base. I've had other models where pot kind of teeter-totters on top of there but that's really nice and uh, definitely here in bear country warnings all over the place apparently you can not even have water containers at your campsite no bear sightings yet but last night on the cam we did get a couple deer coming through and here we have the campsite there's the gazelle gazebo. I'm going to show you the inside of that. You really do need to pay attention to the bear warnings. They have some of the strongest scent capabilities and if you have a water bottle that you've been drinking out of with food, the water bottle now smells like food. We use this dual bucket system. One's dirty, one's clean, and we only have food at the campsite during meal preparation and eating the meal. Then everything gets up to the uh, cleaning center and we clean everything down and bring back two clean buckets You should follow that advice. I've had a bear come into my campsite and eat my sausage sandwich for breakfast Check out my other video So this is inside 
the gazebo, the G6, six-sided, there's the door. And if you buy the side panels, they come in packs of three. I bought two packs, and so therefore have six. And when we go out, we put a side panel to cover the door so people can't walk by and look in. I dropped the side of this panel, the corner here, so that you could see the gazebo and a really good screen material that keeps out the no seams. Lots of great reviews online on both of these tents, and so I'm not doing a full review. Let me show you this gadget here, the buddy heater. Probably a bunch of you guys have seen this before, and that is really helpful. It's made it really nice to get changed in here during some of the cold weather. A go anywhere, go anytime. A little portable toilet, another really convenient feature to have here. And here with all of these walls up, it gets nice and warm and toasty in here. We're going to have to see how both of these tents do in the foul weather. Hold up in the rain. I've seen some great reviews where they do well. And here's the Goal Zero Yeti 500X recharging everything in the camp. The refrigerator runs on the SLA 120 amp hour battery. And I've had to plug the Goal Zero in a couple times to run the fridge. This is inside the Gazelle G6 Gazebo Tent and all of the gadgets. We are in recharging mode right now. I'm charging up both batteries and I've only been able to use the gas generator here at the campsite because there really is no sun and no opportunity to use the solar panels. Let's show you what's going on with the charging stations inside. So I have one of the AC cords coming off the generator into the truck here, here inside my truck cab. I've added this filing cabinet where I store a lot of my gadgets, makes it a lot easier to get to. But here we're recharging the 120 amp hour VMAX. And I'm currently using the 15 amp, because this charges it much faster. I can run this when I have the generator. When I'm driving around, I use the VMAX, the smaller charger, it's only about one and a half amps and uh, use that in the truck's AC system. So currently this is recharging the VMAX 120 amp hour that is down there and also recharging a few of my other gadgets at the same time. While the generator is running, I run the Winter 62 Dual Zone fridge freezer on the generator and when it's not on the generator, it automatically switches over to the VMAX down below there. Let me show you. Really quick, before we go to the other side, I wanted to point out the DC cable for the fridge freezer and how I've taped that to a female cigarette lighter socket that goes to an Anderson pole connector into my battery meter, which I'll show you in a moment. These cigarette lighter cables are notorious for popping out. I've already had it happen a couple of times and so I think I've solved it here by taping this in and uh, haven't had any problems since then. The VMAX 120 amp hour sealed lead acid battery that I just showed you has a usable capacity of at the most 50%, which is 60 amp hours. I want to point out the Goal Zero 500X has a capacity of 46.8 amp hours. So just a little bit less than the SLA, but what I'm finding is I get similar results in running the fridge freezer off of the 120 amp hour versus the 46 amp hour on the Goal Zero. So let me show you now the refrigerator being charged from the other side. From this side of the truck, you can see that the fridge freezer is charging on AC power from the gas generator. Let me show you the meter I use to monitor the performance of the 120 amp hour battery. Keep a close eye on the voltage here. And currently it is at 14 volts because it's being recharged. One of the things I did was buy a second 12 volt cable for the fridge freezer. And so when I'm driving around, I take one and it's plugged into the truck's cigarette lighter on the dashboard running off of the alternator power from the truck and then when we stop the truck 
I plug in the other one and that runs off of the 120 amp hour. I just got back from the trip and I've been unpacking. The Gazelle tent and gazebo performed really well. They were super easy to set up and take down. I'm looking forward to testing them out in the rain and seeing how they perform. The 125 amp hour VMAX battery that was running the winter 62 dual zone fridge freezer for the, most of the trip is 125 amp hours. I kept referring to it as 120 amp hours during the video. Sorry about that. And the goal zero was awesome. When the VMAX got a little too low in voltage and I didn't have time to run the generator, I was able to put the goal zero in there. And the goal zero ran everything else in the camp from the blow up mattresses to recharging the phones, recharging the stereo boom box. If you have any questions about any of these gadgets, please feel free to put them in the comments below. I'd also love to hear about your experiences with outdoor living, camping, and using gadgets to make it a little bit easier when you're out there on the road or in the brush. Please subscribe to the channel. I just got two new gadgets today that I am really super excited about. Battleborn lithium batteries. I'm going to be building a 200 amp hour backup system here at the house. Really looking forward to this next project. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wishing you all a great one. Take care.